Spy satellites, also known as reconnaissance satellites, were first conceived of in the 1950s. We don't know exactly when the first ones were put into orbit, but throughout the 1960s and 70s, these satellites became more common. They were first built so that America and the Soviet Union could spy on each other without having to use reconnaissance aircraft. However, since then, they've both been used domestically and internationally by governments around the world. No one is sure how powerful these satellites are because they're currently classified. One indicator of current power is that the Keyhole satellite class can allegedly photograph an object as small as five inches across. These have been in operation since the 1980s, so who knows how powerful spy satellites are today? I wear a comically large hat to stop them from spying on me outside. I don't care if I get looks. Number three is IMSI catchers. An International Mobile Subscriber Identity Catcher, or IMSI Catcher for short, is an eavesdropping device used by governments to tap into cell phone calls. Not only are they used to intercept phone calls, but they're actually used to track their current location. The IMSI Catcher works as a fake mobile tower, tracking a cell phone into thinking that it's a regular phone tower. This is known as a man-in-the-middle attack, where the IMSI also connects to a real phone tower and picks up calls from both the tower and the target phone. 